face to face and today we're going to talk about art we're going to do we're going to talk about lgbt issue i'm with andrea thank you so much for coming to face to face thank you and then we have uh, you have a show coming up for the women uh, months in march and yeah. then you do a lot of art painting drawing yeah. everything yeah so tell me what what are you going to show on, on March well, 8th, uh, on March 8th uh, it's going to be the festival to celebrate uh, International Women's Month, uh, Sunday 8th. I'm going to have a painting there. Um, and I also uh, did the artwork for the, uh, the festival. Oh, for, and the, for the invitation, yeah, for the promotion. The cover, yeah. So uh, I have that and I'm going to be uh, also with my art, like selling my art, uh, selling stickers, selling jewelry that I'm making right now um, and just uh, like bringing all my art and whatever I have. So but you have you have also an, you are like an activist artist you you have a very passionate issue yeah can you uh, well uh, yeah I'm very uh, passionate about feminism and LGBTQ rights um, and with my art um, I mostly focus around uh, drawing women and uh, the connection between women and the earth and uh, nature and I try to I do like mostly like nude women and I try to include uh, fruits such as like the strawberry um, and I try to like make my art in a way that's like sensual but to make women like feel like they can use their sensuality to be empowered and you know fight sexism and misogyny um, and I also try to include uh, uh, minorities and people from the LGBTQ community in my art um, and yeah I just want to keep working on that and um, just doing as many shows as I can with that. But do you think it's a function of an artist to to stand for something? Or uh, what, yes, what? definitely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Everything I do, I do with a purpose. Like, I don't just sit down and uh, draw anything. I always try to think about what um, what it means, and usually I try to think about um, women and um, you know, um, just um, I don't know what <laughs> you know. Um, everything like ev like an, as an artist, like you need to. Like, it should be part of your thing to try to say something. And um, I think that's a very special thing that artists have living in this world, especially here in the US and New York, uh, where people are so like caught up in, you know, many, uh, things. many things that aren't really as important as um, other people, you know, which is something that I uh, think about in my art. Um, so yeah, I put a lot of emotion in my art and a lot of um, things that are like are more organic than, uh, you know, being in such a, like for example, being in a cubicle all day. I would never, I could never do something like that. Yeah, and complicated. Yeah, um, so I do all kinds of art um, from painting to drawing. Uh, I'm really into film too and music, so everything like that. And how the reaction people of people in front of your art? Are you? Are, what type of feedback do you get? Well, I have a lot of people who support me, yeah. but I do a lot of um, like kind of erotic art as well. So I do get a lot of um, you know like gas. Some people can be outraged by that a lot, especially men <laughs> sometimes. So, yeah, uh, but I think that art is like... Also, unique. men are more shocked than women with your yeah, art. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's some women as well, but definitely uh, one time I heard a man say something about uh, of Georgia O'Keeffe paintings, I think, or someone who was like painting like female genitalia, vaginas, uh -huh, uh -huh. and they were like, oh, that's not art. So I'm completely opposed to that. Yeah. I think that um, I'm just um, amazed by women and you know us being um, you know uh, harassed daily, et cetera. And I feel that women are should be more should be less harassed, should be less attacked 
Um, and that's something that I really try to put in my art. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's definitely people who aren't as pleased to see what I do, um, but I'm all about it and I want to keep going and keep... And so after your, uh, your exposition on March 8th, what, do you have any other plan or any other uh, things coming up after that? Or? Well, I'm trying to find something else after that. Um, before that, actually, the day before, yeah. I am um, supposed to be in a play with Yanni uh, about the vagina monologues, which is a book. Oh, oh I see. So yeah. the day before, I'll be like, in that and then the next day I'll do the show uh -huh. and after that for now I don't really have anything that big happening but okay. I'll keep uh, I do commissions so I'm like always working on paintings and always looking for work uh -huh. uh, freelance uh -huh. and just looking for whatever opportunities I have to be in shows now Great. that I'm here okay so, so yeah. can you remind us what's happening on March 8 quickly yeah so it's gonna be in the Iari e theater okay. um, on Sunday March 8th from 3 to 5 okay it's going to be a little celebration for women mm -hmm. um, and the Latinx uh, people um, so there's gonna be poetry women reading poetry uh, women talking about art and uh, also people with their art like me and other Do people it, that I know an exhibition. and yeah so there's gonna be that and it's gonna be a really beautiful thing celebrating women and women's month thing and people should come <laughs> okay great yeah. we will be there yeah thank you thank you very much for coming yeah. thank you that was your show face to face and please keep uh, uh, watching your news on presenza.com and, and ask your friend and your family member to subscribe and hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you.